Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about some fundamentally sound stocks, which are $35 or below. I have also added a few bonus stocks that have, um, that are a little bit above that, but we realize that every, um, you have a lot of people who want to get involved in stocks. They want to buy stocks. They want to buy fundamentally sound companies, but they don't really have the budget like that. Well, these are gone through my watch list. Some of the things that are 35 or below, a few things that are a little above that. So, also, I really don't buy any stocks unless I've analyzed them and I see that they're fundamentally sound. So, if you need the analysis, for any of these stocks, just drop me a comment letting me know the name or the ticker symbol of the stock that you need the analysis for. Um, sometimes I have problems receiving all my comments. If, you, if I don't receive the comment, just send me an email. You'll see my email at the end of this video. So starting off, we have clear fields. And... Um, I actually break my stocks on my watch list down into three groups or three tiers. Three stars is the top tier, the most fundamentally sound. Two stars is a little under that. There may be something that's a little sound for concern. One star is the most concern or the, the lowest tier. But at the same time, it did make my list. It was fundamentally sound enough to make it on my list, but there's more concern. So this is a three-tier, um, a three-star company, top tier, um, clear field. Next, we come to Method Electronics. They are a one star. There's a couple of things on the in the financials I'd be concerned about. Um, like I said, you can ask me for the analysis on that, and I will put the analysis on video and leave it in the channel. And we see method was at twenty two eighty seven at the time. Now, um, I put out a. I've been putting out like a couple of videos a day, so I got to apologize to you guys. I actually created this list last week, and I and actually forgot that I um, put this together. So some of these prices may have moved down, some of them linger where they are and some of them may have moved up there's a couple of moved up considerably but um in any event method electronics at the time was 2287 harley davidson hog they make the motorcycles this is a two-star company and they were at 26 dollars and 85 cents at the time of analysis and we have General Motors. General Motors is more of an emotional analysis. Notice I have no stars for this company. It didn't really make my list, but I, I put it down here anyway. $28.20 a share. And um, now the there was a strike in the auto industry which included General Motors. That strike is over, so I'm not sure if there'll be some tailwind as a result of that, but GM is $28.20 a share. Advanced 6, they are a two-star. $27.55 a share. Then we have Camden. National Corporation. Now, Camden, I believe, has moved up pretty nicely. But at time of analysis last week, they were at 
16 cents a share there are one star. Tootsie Roll, they make Tootsie Roll candy for those who are familiar with it and sort of grew up on it like me. And um, they also make a, num a number of other things and candies and so forth. They are a one star at time of analysis. They was at $31.11 a share. Kraft Heinz, they were at $31.46 a share at the time of analysis. Kraft Heinz was a one star. I believe they've moved up a little. Genpak Limited, three stars. They were at $33.55, a share. Now we'll jump into a few bonus charts. We have Enterprise Financial Services. They are a two-star. They were at $34.77 a share. We have Kiagen. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Kiagen NV. They were a three-star, and they were at $37.00 and 43 cents a share. We have Citigroup. Um, if you're familiar with Citibank, they were at $39.49 a share. They were a one star, and I believe their dividend yield was 5.45. Silgan Holdings, a one star at $40.06 a share. And Value Line. Value Line, they, you see on this chart, they moved up three weeks in a row. They've moved up even more now. And they were at $40.95 a share. They're a periodical they write about investing. Commercial Metals Company. $42.29 a share. They are a two star. Cow Main Foods. Cow Main Foods, they, I can't say they make eggs, but they sell eggs. They were at $45.31 a share. They were a two star. Now, this company was giving a 9.46% dividend. However, I've looked at them again more recently, and I do see one cause of concern in their financials, which is that when I look at their financials, I see that when I look at their free cash flow, a couple of years were negative. And their free cash flow isn't always covering the dividend that they give. Now, what does that mean for us practically? What it means is they're probably borrowing money just to pay you that dividend rather than having enough free cash flow to pay you the dividend from the free cash flow, which means in the future, if you're considering holding this longer term, that dividend may disappear because they can't afford to keep paying it. But in any event, that's Calmain Foods. You can um, let me know if you want the analysis, and I can put the analysis on video and um, leave it in the channel for you. Okay, so that's our list. Stocks under 35 and even got a few bonus ones which are slightly over 35 for those who are working on a more limited budget but want to get into the investing game okay guys i look forward to seeing you in the next video